Let me now take you to South Sudan, which remains the youngest country in Africa after the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Accord in 2006, which saw both local and international organizations setting base in the country with the hope of cashing in on the huge opportunities available. But the breakout of violence in 2013, following the fallout between President Salva Kiir and his then deputy Riek Machar, saw majority of dreams and expectations of these organizations go down the drain, forcing most of them to either scale down their operations or close down altogether. But one Kenyan organization, UAP Old Mutual South Sudan, has kept its faith in South Sudan and kept its businesses doors open. Philip Kitani met with James Wambungo, the UAP Group Managing Director General Insurance in Juba, and tells us more. Economically struggling South Sudan is determined to restore security in the country in order to resume normal business and crude oil production and attract investment. The oil sector has been battered since South Sudan's civil war started in December 2013. And with the founding father on this monument still keeping the faith and trying to point the country in the right direction, one other Kenyan subsidiary, UAP Old Mutual South Sudan, is also keeping the faith for a better future for South Sudan. What is significant about South Sudan is that we actually have made a profit from the first year we started operating. Every year we have made a profit. UAP All Mutual South Sudan has also seen the good, the bad and the ugly of South Sudan business landscape in its short history of 11 years as an independent state. But even with that, UAP has continued with its investment in this country with the construction of the UAP Equatorial Tower, the tallest building in the country, at 15 stories high and now contributing to UAP's bottom line. In terms of profits, uh, in the last two years, uh, UAP South Sudan has actually contributed you know, close to 20-25% of the, of the profits. UAP was among the first companies to venture into South Sudan at Independence and invested $30 million in putting up the building in 2011 to provide foreign investors with ultra-modern office space. But currently, the tower with only 23% occupancy is expected to rise to 35% when the Kenyan embassy in Juba relocates to the building early this year. You know, the payback period in this, in this market, if the building is, when the building is full, it's like four or five years. Go to Kenya is 10 or, so, or plus years. It's a whole lot of difference. Although it generates minimum revenue, the building also generates costs every month UAP spends $15,000 for diesel to power the generators, which is the only source of power, and $5,000 for satellite internet. In Kenya, it will cost only $400 for the same internet capacity. Having established ourselves uh, strongly and holding maybe in excess of 50% of the market share, to pull out, I think, it, it would be very irresponsible. So, uh, and the fact that we are still making profits, why would you run away from making profits? However, the building also represents the long-term view of South Sudan opportunities, with the building representing the mantra of high risk, high returns for a business. Wambugu insists, UAP believes in the potential of South Sudan. Other companies have fled because of insecurity, political upheavals, and a struggling economy. We are not here because we haven't got a choice, we are already here. In fact, if we were starting today, I would still do it. Considering that South Sudan largely depends on imports, the cost of living and of basic commodities is high due to the poor states of roads and lack of electricity. The country has only 400 kilometers of paved road. Juba has one mall, City Mall, which is a pale shadow of those found in other East African capitals. Uh, the good thing is, having been the first player and being the, the player who has consistently stayed here without worry, without fear, uh, we are almost uh, effect effectively uh, uh, South Sudanese. Um, we, 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 we have ended up with a big chunk of the market and as a result, even with the blips that happen sometimes, the truth is uh, we, have, um, we have continued 
to grow. The unemployment crisis has been exacerbated by the exit of numerous foreign companies, while others have scaled down their operations after experiencing losses. That reflects the normal uh, curve where high risk, high return. You must be prepared to take a risk. And we haven't taken risk in a careless way. We've really taken risk in a calculated way. Other Kenyan multinational like KCB Group, Stanbic Holdings, Equity Group, Cooperative Bank, and CIC Insurance are some of the Kenyan businesses that have significantly reduced their operations in the country. I think the future of uh, UAP, uh, Old Mutual South Sudan, is great, which is contributing to the success of the UAP, Old Mutual Group, okay. right across East Africa. The hopes of prosperity and opportunities that came with the signing of the peace accord in 2006 have been diminished by three years of political and prolonged fighting between government forces and rebels, particularly in oil field states of Paloch, Upper Nile, and Maywood, have crippled the economy that is highly dependent on oil. Philip Keitan, KTN News, from Juba, South Sudan.